హలో వెల్కమ్ టు పీపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఛానల్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ శివ కోయా అండ్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ ఎక్సైటెడ్ టు కిక్ ఆఫ్ ఎ న్యూ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ వీడియోస్ ఆన్ అప్రూవల్ వర్క్ ఫ్లో ఇంజిన్ వై డోంట్ వీ స్టార్ట్ విత్ వాట్ ఈస్ వర్క్ ఫ్లో ఇట్స్ మెయిన్లీ యూజ్ టు డ్రైవ్ అప్రూవల్ ప్రాసెసెస్ ఇట్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ ఫ్రేమ్వర్క్ అండ్ యూజర్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ టు ఆథరైజ్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్స్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ అవర్ కంపెనీ పాలసీస్ అండ్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్లీ electronic approvals save company a lot of time and money when compared to traditional paper based approvals workflows are quite common in people soft it is used for journal approvals purchasing asset transactions to name a few workflow has evolved quite a bit in people soft back in the day the entire workflow i mean design and configuration happened behind the scenes in the app designer that involves creating a business process inside business process we have activities and inside activities we have step event and notification not to mention the people code that invokes this configuration this entire setup is known as virtual approval framework i believe in the year 2015 they revamped the entire workflow methodology by bringing most of the configuration options to the front end even in case of awe application developers are involved during the initial setup to hook the online configuration and also to embed the delivered framework behind our approval page once the initial setup is done later down the road functional users can modify the approval list or they can even change the criteria on the fly these features definitely make awe more dynamic compared to legacy approval setup in people soft this is a kind of high level overview of approval workflow engine now i will give you one more reason why you should have a good grip on approval workflow engine with fluid PeopleSoft made workflow process more efficient by bringing all approval pages under one roof and calls it common approval framework. Let me open that. It is under employee self service approvals. As you can see here, every single approval transaction that needs your attention can be now accessed from one single page. Since this is a fluid page, you can access from any mobile device. you know the interesting thing is you can convert your classic approval page into one of these pages through configuration i will show you that in one of my upcoming videos the point i am trying to make here is behind all these cool things there is approval workflow engine let me show you i am navigating to enterprise components page composer administration developer registration let me search for our definition approvals fluid approvals component i will search let's select one of the configuration related to our fluid approvals i will select gl journal let me navigate to keys tab and i will select composition key fields as you can see here they are assigning approval workflow engine process id to fluid component that's it guys i hope you got some idea about the role of awe in fluid approvals let me give you a quick demo of the approval process that we are going to create in our next episode i created a very simple page where an employee can request a stationary item at the comfort of his desk So this is the page I have created. Let me go ahead and give some stationary request ID. I will say demo one. I will click add. Let me select my ample ID. If you want, we can default the ample ID. We will focus more on the approval workflow than on the page. Let's assume this is my ample ID, and let me select a stationary item. I would select monitor. Once I click submit. it will kick off the approval process as well as we are going to flip the approval status from initial to in progress i will go ahead and click submit button 
as you can see here the workflow was generated based on my configuration now i'll switch hats and pretend i am the first approver let me access the email notification sent by our workflow process our first approver would have received an email notification based on the notification template that we will create in the email template we can also pass the direct link to our specific transaction that you see here as soon as the approver clicks on the link it takes him to our approval page there are a bunch of actions he can perform on this page he can approve deny or add comments i will go ahead and quickly add some comments after adding comments instead of approving or denying approver can click on add comments i will go ahead and click on add comments based on his action comments were updated on the approval page i will go ahead and approve this transaction as you can see we have successfully completed the very first approval and the workflow is now routed to our second approver in interest of time i will go offline and complete the second step by following the same process i am back here i am logged in as final approver i can either approve deny or push back the request to the previous approver but i plan to approve when i approve notice that the approval status changes from in process to complete let me add some comments and i will go ahead and approve as expected approval status is now complete and we can view all the comments by expanding the comments section that's it for today guys if the content was helpful for you don't forget to press that like button below next week i will be back and show you how i have configured approval workflow engine from scratch thank you so much for watching see you next week until then keep learning mm -hmm.